Charlie. Sorry, I was miles away. Oh no, it doesn't matter. You can't do that. What were you going to say? Really, it doesn't matter. Jordan, we've known each other all our lives. Since when has there been anything you haven't been able to tell me? It's not Bethany, is it? You're very friendly with her at the cinema. No, I don't fancy her, she. Never mind. Look, tell me. I. I. Jordan? What are you doing? We're mates. Jordan? Jordan, where are you going? This isn't our stop. Jordan! Don't leave that there. How many times have I got to tell you? Mum. I thought Jordan was coming for tea. No, he, he had other plans. Well, it would have been nice for you to have let me know. How long's tea? About ten minutes. Hello, Pete. Hi, Jamie. What's the matter? Have you seen Jordan? He said he was coming here for tea. No, Charlie said he'd got other plans. He was supposed to be home by eight. Charlie? Yeah? Why did Jordan say he couldn't come? He just said he got other plans. What do you mean? He must have said more than that. Mum, I don't know. He just said he couldn't come. Well, if you do see or hear from him, can you tell him to come straight home? Yeah, of course. Thanks. Kids. <laughs> I'm sure he'll be fine. Are you sure you don't know where he is? No, Mum, I told you. I asked him if he was still coming for tea and he said no, he couldn't. Hmm. I've called around all his friends and no one's seen him. Charlie, did he say anything to you that might give us some clue as to where he is? No. This is serious, Charlie. You won't be in any trouble. I'm really worried. Where did you see him last? He got off the bus early at Kidman's farm. Why did he get off there? We... we had an argument and he stormed off. I don't know where he went after that. I just thought he went home. I'll have a drive up that way and ask at the farm. Do you want Dave to come with you? No, I'm sure he can't be far. I'll kill him when I find him, though. Do you think the police will find him? Well, Pete said they've got the helicopter up to help search. I still think he's round one of his mates. Come on, Charlie. You need to go to bed. I'm sure he'll be fine. Can I stay up a bit longer? OK, just for a while. I'll stay with her. You go up. Hello, DS Dixon. I wonder if I could speak to your mum and dad. Yes, I'll go and get them. Who is it, Charlie? It's the police. They want to speak to you. Have you found him yet? I'm afraid not, no. Um, can I come in? Y yes, of course. Through here. Dave, the police are here. Can you come down? Nothing, really. It was more of a disagreement. He just said he wanted some space. It wasn't my fault. No one's saying it is, Charlie. They're always falling out and then making up again. Are you definitely sure of his walking as if he was going home? Yes. I watched him out the back window. OK, thanks for that. I was wondering, is it possible we could have a look around? 
most children are found close to home. Sure, I'll show you around. Come on, Charlie, eat up. I'm not hungry. Where is he? Starving yourself isn't going to help find him. Can I go and help look for him? No. The police said they might want to speak to you again. You need to stay here. Do you want a fresh bowl of cereal? Jordan? Oh, it's you, Emily. Hiya, Charlie. Have you heard anything? No, no one said anything. I've got to stay at home in case the police want me. Do you want me to come round and keep you company? I don't know. I wouldn't be much fun. I feel it's all my fault. What do you mean? You didn't do anything? I don't know. Maybe it was something I said. You wouldn't say anything, Charlie. Everyone knows that. Don't blame yourself. I'm sure there's a logical reason for him going missing. That's what my mum said anyway. She said that when people go Emily, missing... Emily, I know where he is. Where? You need to tell the police. No. No, I've got to do this on my own. What are you on about? You've got to tell them. Emily, promise me you won't say anything. Please, this is really important. I'll explain later. Do you promise? Charlie, I... Please, Emily. OK, but if I don't hear anything by tea time... I'll tell them what you said. OK, deal. Thanks, Emily. Love you. I'm Charlie Williamson. Where are you calling from? Pri I'm in the Priory Woods. His legs are funny and bleeding. OK, stay calm. Where is Priory Woods? What's the nearest town? Barrington, near Cambridge. Good girl. How old are you, Charlie? I'm 12. 12. He's really hurt. You need to get someone here quickly. OK, Charlie. Who's hurt? Jordan Lewis. I don't know what to do. OK, try and stay calm. Is he awake? Yes, but he's very weak. He can hardly talk. I think he's been here all night. 
It looks like his leg's broken. The police know he's missing. Okay, we'll need to direct the ambulance to you. I've got a map of the wood in front of me. Whereabouts are you in the wood? By the swing, which is near the main footpath. I suppose it's about halfway down the path on the left. Okay, I'll pass that on to a paramedic responder. They'll be with you soon. Okay, how long will they be? I'm so sorry. This is all my fault. I didn't mean to hurt you. I only realised where you'd be when I saw the pictures of us. This is where I kissed you that time, isn't it? Bye. Bye. Don't die. I'm not going anywhere. They'll be here soon. Are you still there, Charlie? Yes, yes, I'm still here. Someone should be with you any minute now. Can you hear them? Yes, I can hear the sirens. Oh, wait, they've stopped. Hello, Charlie? Charlie, can you hear me? Yes, over Hello. here. Hello? There's someone here now. Is that the operator? Yeah. Can I talk to them, please? Thanks. Hello? OK, I'm with the casualty now. It looks like he's fallen off a rope swing. His right leg's in a pretty bad way. We're going to need an ambulance as soon as possible, please. OK, thanks for your help. I'm so sorry. I feel the same way too. Excuse me, miss. 